Good evening, I'm Louis Tran. Thanks for joining us tonight. First, police say that the 15 year old suspect who shot and killed five people in Raleigh is in the hospital in critical condition. The Wake County District Attorney expects to try him as an adult. The shooting happened Thursday night. Police say that the suspect shot and killed five people in the Headingham neighborhood. Among the victims, a teenager and an off duty officer. Two others were also hurt. And tonight we're learning more about the five victims. Cindy Bay talks with the husband of one of the victims. In disbelief. I just feel like I'm just walking through a, a, a daze right now. Emotionally drained, Tracy Howard sits outside the front porch where he found his wife of five years, Nicole Connors, shot and killed. I don't know how, but she was, I found her. She was laying up on this porch right here, her and the dog. She was a fun, loving person, bubbly. <sighs> you got everybody in the neighborhood knew her. Howard, in disbelief that his neighbor is the 15 year old who authorities say is responsible for the mass shooting that killed five people and injured two others. I can't believe, you know, he would do something like that. We never had any interactions with, with the kid, you know, no beef with him or anything like that. But I just don't, I don't know what happened. Another husband, Tom Carnatz, mourning over the loss of Susan Carnatz, sharing this message on Facebook on all the plans they had together and the memories they'll have always and forever. It was on the News River Greenway where the mother of three who loved to run was shot. I don't know what they even say about it or how to approach uh, them, but uh, you know, th this is a lady who I've just seen a few days ago out here running, as a matter of fact. I run the Greenway and I also ride my bike quite often. That same route, uh, going behind uh, Hiddenham, uh, I ride it quite often. And uh, it could have been anybody. And among the five victims is an off-duty Raleigh officer, 29-year-old Gabriel Torres. A North Carolina nonprofit called Back the Blue NC is raising money for his family. As of five this evening, the online fundraiser was at almost $54,000. And we know a lot of these officers and their wives personally. And we have been so busy just trying to initiate the, the fundraising and the assistance for the family that we haven't even had the time to process everything ourselves. And to learn more about the nonprofit, you can visit the backtobluenc.org. And we'll have more updates on this story once we learn more. Make sure you stay with us online and on air for the latest information. And back here in the Piedmont Triad, Winston-Salem police are investigating a shooting that left a person hurt. This morning at 4, police say a man arrived to a hospital with a gunshot wound. He's in stable condition. Police say that the victim told them he was shot inside Lounge 34 on North Liberty Street. At this time, police are investigating what happened. They did not release details on any suspects. In Greensboro, police are investigating a shooting on the campus of Dudley High School. It happened last night at 10 on Lincoln Street. One victim was taken to a hospital at this time. Police say they arrested four people in the case. Naeem Williams Donnell, Centellus Cooper, Rashad Carter, and a juvenile. An arrest warrant has been issued for Nasir Shipman. One million dollars, that's the total cash value the Forsyth County Drug Task Force claims a recent seize was worth. Deputies seized nearly nine pounds of drugs, four firearms, and cash. Deputies found the stash at Jessica Spiegel's home in Germantown. She and Lanny Clark are charged with felony trafficking. Both are facing a $250,000 bond. 